Thanks, Kevin. We're all slightly obsessed with the yeah. super bin. Uh, they're really quite epic. Brilliant. Let's say a big hello to Bob Mortimer and Jessica Ray. Hello. Hi, hey. guys. Um, Bob, we were surprised to find out you used to be a bin man. Yeah, I was a bin man for quite a while when I was younger. Yeah. Um, every bin man, the, your, the, your memory of always surrounds um, what we used to call maggot juice. <laughs> Oh. And do you, do you, we, bin we, juice. It, yeah, yeah, bin juice. Yeah, yeah, in terms yeah. of that particular smell it had, because mm. it was aluminium bins then. And when you put them on your shoulder, that's when it would leak. So do you remember the old binman's jackets used to be yeah, like uh, donkey jackets, but with the patch? The leather yeah. patch. That was for the that's absorption of... Uh, of <laughs> That for the bin juice. Bin juice. Wow. Yeah, but it never that leaves you that you smell. Know. I love oh, that. Oh, yeah, that smell. that smell. I now. would miss, with these bins, the street WhatsApp binfluencer, <laughs> which we've got. We're like, is it paper? Is it metals? What is it? And uh, we've got a, a binfluencer That's in our WhatsApp absolutely group. Yeah, happening. I would miss that. Yeah. We need to make a show about that, Jessica. I'm obsessed. <laughs> now, Bob, we are celebrating 100 years of the BBC, and it was the BBC comedy What I Lie to You uh, that inspired you to write the novel. Yeah, I think it did in a way. I think that was the root of it because people enjoyed my daft stories, some are true, some are false that I say on that. So I did my autobiography mm -hmm. and um, people quite liked the writing style and that. So I thought I'd give it a go. So the book, the, in some ways, the novel is just a great big long, I don't know, six or seven hour would I lie to you story. <laughs> you know, it's Which a... sounds brilliant already, <laughs> doesn't it? That's what we want. The Satsuma Complex is what it's called. Amazing title. Can you give us a little plot tease? Bob? Well, it's just, all it is, is it's basically three um, lonely people who make a, each of them separately make a kind of brave decision, which is based upon um, reading this book, The Satsuma Complex which is a book that the, 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 the young lady in, the, um, in my novel is reading. Um, yeah, so it's like a boy meets girl with a little bit of um, a crime story to keep the thing chugging along. It's good fun, it's got talking squirrels. It's got <laughs> Trey Guy in. <laughs> Trey Guy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have a camp of choo-choo on me, why don't you? <laughs> um, yeah, so there's loads of characters and um, it gets very exciting at the end, I think. And, um, uh, it, it made me cry at the end when I finished it because I got really close to them. It's a yeah. weird thing when you're writing a book. I really like these three people now, so... Well, being close yeah. to the characters, is the main character, Gary, uh, based on someone you know? Just based on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they say you should write what you know, so I just thought I'd go back to when I was 20, sort of 26, 27 and quite a shy lad and lonely in London and see if I could write a Bob that actually, you know, is able to meet people. You know, a different Bob, and see what see what adventures he had, mm. and it was fun. Yeah, I should have done all that. <laughs> <laughs> and you can now through your characters, and of course, I mean, you're just talking about the talking squirrel and, and these characters here. You've woven your brilliant humour, which we all love, Bob, through this book. Yeah, well, I hope I hope there's some there's some fun in there, but I was determined to make it a good yarn as well. It's a good little adventure, you know, but um, to sort of justify the funny bits. You know, cos the squirrel talks like that. <laughs> I, I was writing a book cos I'm not a writer, you know, those <laughs> things like internal monologues. I found it very difficult, but I thought if I could chat to someone, they can do that job for me. Oh, you should not have done that, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. There's always a squirrel about. Right? Yeah, yeah, to chat to. So, uh, <laughs> brilliant. Yeah. And uh, the book is a family affair. How, how is your, uh, your son involved? My son did the cover for me, because um, he's, he's very artistic, so he designed some really lovely covers and then kind of the publisher said you know it just really needs to stand out so um he put a great big orange satsuma on and my name on the top <laughs> <laughs> and i think he knew what he was doing it's quite striking and there is the squirrel <laughs> yeah. um we've got to talk to you about the brilliant gone fishing we all love that show um paul whitehouse you've known him for 30 years are you a bit like a old married couple do you know what? I think it's more like he, he used to fish with his father when he was young and he didn't have any um, sons. So I think it's more father son, him being um, kind of being his dad, teaching me how to fish, telling me off, getting grumpy, <laughs> making me behave myself, you know, but, but it's fun because we're really good friends. So we, I, we don't mind shouting at each other or falling out from time to time. <laughs> And I love the way you play up to yeah. him with that as well. It's, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. Love that show. I hope you're going to make some more. Uh, thank you, Bob. The Satsuma Complex is out today. Yeah.